Hey guys, this is Stormy with the Capital Z, welcoming you to a audio commentary over a match between Thomas G, the purple nidal player versus Rage Ted, the yellow undead player right here on Echo Isles. This is going to be my first commentary over Ted after he joined Rage after leaving um, World, Elite, World Elite and let's see what he does. He seems to be going for early death night, not dropping his graveyard early, has two ziggurats coming up. One is ready, one is coming up, and now Tom is trying to take out the creeps near his, oh, the nearest creep to him. Green, green creeping spot, dropping two moon wells, and a demon hunter out from Thomas' side. The demon hunter is so, so rarely seen these days. The warden has really replaced it all the time. Death Knight out from Ted, bought the rod of necromancy, and probably gonna go for the green creeping spot. Oh, and seems like Thomas G has a wisp hiding over there. Ted, Ted does see it, see it, and now trying to attack it, take it out, and seems like Ted got it. Yeah, he did. Got the experience. And as he Thomas is done creeping over here. Oh yes, I did not mention that this acolyte as came as a scout, probably did scout out a bit of Thomas' base. And Thomas seems to be going towards where Ted was, and Ted seems to be going for somewhere Thomas would have no idea that he will go there. As he has his wisp was just been taken down, and that demon hunter can really come and harass him. Necropolis not upgraded yet, although the tree of ages has been hit for upgrade. More and more goals are being made, as Ted is using a few goals for creeping and a few goals for the lumber harvesting. And seems like Thomas G is totally lost in where exactly Ted is. He's just running around trying to see where exactly he is and Ted is done creeping his first spot which is the green spot near the expansion point of Thomas G and Thomas G decides to go towards the mer go merchant as night has just fallen and he's waiting for a bit gold it seems gonna buy some boots yeah he did work and oh, here comes Ted. Ted gonna spot him, tr gonna try to surround him, take him out. He has a lot of u those units. Oh my! Thomas is totally surrounded. He cannot escape. And he, Thomas just attacked those creeps to try to uh, get uh, Ted's units attack. And Thomas tried to take out that goal, although Ted saved it right on time using that coil. And Thomas was forced to go back using buying a staff of teleportation and getting himself back to the base. And seems like Ted, uh, Ted is quite free to creep out this place and get his zero to level two. And Thomas seems to be wanting to. Oh, very nice. He did not teleport himself back to the base. It seems he teleported himself inside over here somehow. And now taking out the creeps from here and those archers from the behind. Very, very innovative there by Thomas. He also bought this cloth attack, which I did see probably from that marketplace, or he got it from those creeps. And as you can see, Ted is done over here, but you can count Thomas out as he is also uh, got his he, he has also gotten his zero to level two. Graveyard has been dropped, and Hall of Death is coming up with the third cigarette. And Ted just sent his skeleton warrior as a scout and finds out that he did Thomas did manage to creep out that place, not fully. And, and now ma that mana burn, uh, you can see that it was just used over that death knight and now trying to attack that death knight attack it Ted's unit and Ted seems to be just wanting to go back inside his base wants to play a bit defensive that skeleton did I think it just time out, timed out yes and now trying to attack his uh, demon or using those uh, Nerubian tower uh, cold effect and not trying to surround it although the demon did manage to get out of there even if, even though if he can surround it, he can just use the staff of teleportation. The demon hunter is quite, uh, quite uh, movable, mobile to just go or anywhere. And I just heard upgrade complete. And Ted seems to be going directly for Black Citadel. He has no uh, slaughterers or anything dropped yet. Just directly going for slow, uh, Black Citadel and seems like that demon is just chasing off those goals and that that night. Ted did re uh, get the second magic as Unholy Aura. Those units will be quite faster. And oh, here comes that Naga Siege. Naga Siege with the cold arrow trying to slow down that demon hunter. And that demon hunter is quite vulnerable to such attacks. 
and can be surrounded using that and now that he just chased off the demon hunter is now going towards the base of Thomas Thomas has a lot of these moon well set out of his base now the, none of them trying to protect those wests but they are in quite good position for healing two lords are being dropped one lord is ready the other one is being taken down he's probably going to go down seems like he cancelled it and now this uh, this detonated his wisp over the Ted and a panda from the, uh, the from Thomas I did not see that sorry and seems like the panda is done uh, for a bit creeping and seems like the de <laughs> demon was chill chilling out oh man the demon was just chilling out there doing nothing now moving and seems like Thomas as I said the pos positioning of those moon wells saved that panda from dying uh, it was at quite low hit points a few seconds ago and you can see it the demon are just trying to take out those with take uh, hitting hits after hits over it just took out two of them and Ted is still at his base trying to get e every hit he can and that demon are just teleported himself back to the base using the staff now going after the demon or demon are probably gonna have to go back now that panda is at level 2 and Ted, uh, Thomas wants to take out this orange tree plot near this mercenary camp to get his panda to level 3 a level 3 panda is very dangerous and right now that demon hunter now trying to take out that uh, Naga Siege although Naga Siege had a portion of healing and just healed himself herself uh, sorry and now mana burn after mana burn going off uh, over it the demon hunter has that shaft teleportation quite mobile can move anywhere to save itself anytime also has a TP oh my one more mana one going down and that f only 60 mana are left with that Naga Siege now trying to take out those archers try to, try to target them oh my that Naga Siege will go down oh, and it goes down Ted just used that TP quite late uh, what Ke Ted could have done is just transfer the TP towards that uh, Naga Siege and teleported using that to save it although all that happened really really quick quick and Thomas D is still trying to get that panda to level 3 will get it after taking out this part this expansion point and Ted seems to be going for that uh, the nearest creep to his base the green creeping spot with that ogre and two trolls he has two no rod of necromancies uh, one is probably for that lich a uh, lich is out from Ted oh yes black citadel is ready a sacrifice pit is dropped from Ted. This is quite interesting. You don't see a sacrifice pit coming up every day. Slaughterhouse is there, and if there's a sacrifice pit, there probably will be a bone yard. Statue is out. Ted seems to be wanting to go for destroyers and transition into worms in late game. Seems he does not have a quite big unit composition, just two fiends, not many, very much number of them. He has research destroyer form, not many, uh, just one of ob obsidian statue. Needs to make a few more. Seems like he just wants to go for late game worms. Worms are so, so strong. And he just dropped that boneyard, and boneyard, oh my, Thomas D just detected it right on time and now went after. I think he that Ted just denied it. Now going inside the base, being taking hits after hits from that um, Nerubian tower, cold effect of it. A shade is out. No more hiding for Thomas. Although he did not use the hide very effectively, as his units are not uh, quite. He does not have many hiding units and many bears over here trying to take out Ted's units. And right now using that staff hotel. Oh no, he is using the TP to go back, teleporting all his army back to the base only if you if you see over here Thomas G just has his uh, had his hero uh, with low hit points he could have just backed it out f use that staff of teleportation to go back or uh, if it was in cooldown he would have just transferred this staff of preservation to that panda and used it over that demon or he could have just used regeneration from those bears I wouldn't say that was a wise choice to TP back as Ted does not have re a very big army this is not a big ar undead army just three heroes that is the main uh, 
main power of this combination which Ted currently has now as you can see Ted just taking out this orange cube spot and Thomas taking out these Murlocs near uh, beside those that mercenary camp and seems like both heroes for Ted second and third heroes are at level 2 and Ted's going after the creeps with uh, those murlocs just beside that mercenary camp has another statue ready nothing in production currently he wants to transition into worms now he does not want anything more boneyard is ready and we probably will be seeing a few worms coming up one worm coming up worms are very very expensive and <laughs> really take a lot of sp uh, food capacity too and well Ted did man uh, did drop that ziggyard right on time to not to get himself supply blocked one worm is coming out and oh my that shade is just after Thomas's tail Thomas should had bought something to see invincible units such as dust of appearance or something as he did did see that oh what do you call it sacrifice pit as you can see t now taking out this creeping spot orange one this is a stronger creep spot as it has this turtle this turtle is very very strong and Ted I think it was taken out although that corpse is there I think he just took it out and now Ted going for that same creeping spot and as Ted will be done here and with here this map will be devoid of all type of creeps just one creeping spot left over all of the whole the map over the whole map this is quite something unusual a worm oh my that worm is out and you can just see how big and dangerous this is a hundred and a hundred damage can be dealt at a time oh that this this did come to the towards that expansion it probably did see that worm but did Thomas spot it